Hey folks, welcome back to Cicada Land. Um, today, I'm uh, I'm going to steam, or at least attempt to steam out a couple of dents that I made in the back of this um, bear claw spruce soundboard when my uh, go bar rods slipped down um, uh, off of the call that I had. They slipped down. Um, and then they hit the bore and you can see I got a couple of really nice dents here this one I'm pretty sure we can get out this one I don't know because um, it may be hard to see this in the video but there are it looks like the fibers are broken on either end of that <clears throat> They appear to be broken right there, and they appear to be broken right there. We're going to give it a shot. I use Q-tips and a soldering iron and demineralized water. Is there a special reason I used demineralized water? Not really. Well, there's a moderate amount of success there. There's still a little bit of a divot to it. That ain't bad. I have my soldering iron cranked up as much as this poor little thing will go. Alright, let's see if we can get this one taken care of. Let's see what we can do here, or not do. Yeah, not looking so good for that one. Yeah, the fibers are just broken on it. I pulled a little bit out, not much though. Now, if I had my choice, I would take this tip off and I would get a blade tip just for this. But you run with your broom. Yeah, and that's all we're going to get out of her. Okay. 
not bad. I got a couple of others that you'll see. It'll be a little easier to pull out. That one doesn't look too bad. Can't even feel it. Just disappears. Now I know what some of you are saying. This is on the back side. Who cares? Um, I care. how to do this steaming out dents and gun stocks oh my bad There's a little one up there on that brace here while we're here. Now I don't know if that's going to work there or not because we're kind of on the we're kind of on the there's an angle there so we've got some end grain going on. I'm not quite sure if that's going to do what we need it to do. And, well, golly kids, I think we're done. I know that wasn't very exciting. I don't have anything on the front. Oh, I do have something on the front. And that one doesn't look pretty. Stand by. Yeah, this one doesn't look that bad. I think we'll be all right. Right there. So the, you know, we're just trying to get the top in as good a condition as we can get it. Um, before we, if we're going to do any grain filling, if we're going to do any sanding sealer, if we're going to put our finish on, whatever, whatever it is we're going to do, we want this to be as close to perfect as we can get it. Um, which is not really helpful being in the shop that we're in. So that's really all I've got for you guys today. Um, as you can hear, the uh, cicadas are out in force. I have these all over my yard. In case you need something to scare the crap out of your day. So have a good weekend. Cheers. Hey, if you've enjoyed this episode of Rattle Can Guitar Restorations, you might want to check out the videos below. Also, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to us over on the YouTube. You can friend us over on the Facebook, and you can follow us on the Instagram as well as the Twitter. See you next time. Thanks for watching the train wreck. Cheers. <laughs>